Hello and welcome to yet another South Korean college scholastic ability test video, the test that Korean high school seniors take in order to go to college. Today's problem is really easy if you have a solid basic understanding on functions, and I think that's what makes this problem beautiful. It says two polynomial functions fx and gx satisfy f minus x equals fx and g minus x equals minus gx for all real numbers x. Moreover, hx, which is defined as fx times gx, satisfies integral of x plus 5 times derivative h prime x dx from minus 3 to 3 gives 10. What is the value of h3? Alright, the key to solve this problem is to understand the meaning of these two conditions on fx and gx. And these conditions are often taught while covering some of the very basics of the functions, so many of you might still remember these things. So straight to the point, functions that satisfy this condition for fx is called even functions, and functions that satisfy this condition for gx is called odd functions. Geometrically, the graph of the even function is symmetric with respect to y-axis, and the graph of the odd function is symmetric with respect to the origin. This will come important later. And now let's take a look at the given integral condition. This condition rearranges to integral x h prime x plus 5 h prime x dx equals 10, which again can be written as integral x h prime x dx plus 5 times integral h prime x dx equals 10. And now is the time to finally address the way that the function hx is defined. We know that fx is an even function and gx is an odd function. And if the even function and the odd function are multiplied, we obtain an odd function, so hx is an odd function. You can easily show this by substituting x with minus x in hx, and that results in minus hx. The second point to notice is that because hx is an odd function, its derivative h prime x is an even function. This can be either intuitively understood from the fact that the graph of the odd function is symmetric with respect to the origin, and the geometric meaning of the derivative is the slope of the graph, or in this case it is given that fx and gx are polynomials, so you can either use that. This means that hx is also a polynomial, and since it is an odd function, hx only contains odd degree terms. And we know that if we differentiate odd degree terms, we obtain even degree terms, hence this h prime x must be an even function. Or as a more general proof, you can either use the definition of the derivative to prove that. Anyway, we know that h prime x is an even function, and at this point you can easily understand that x h prime x is an odd function. This brings to the third point, the definite integral of even or odd functions where the interval is from minus a to a. If an arbitrary function px is an even function, then integral of px from minus a to a equals twice the integral of px from 0 to a, which is usually easier to evaluate. And if px is an odd function, then integral of px from minus a to a simply gives 0. You can also prove these properties analytically, but since that's not the main point of the video, let's just gain an intuitive understanding from the areas under the curves and move on. So we're back to here. And since we know that x h prime x is an odd function, this integral simply gives 0. And since h prime x is an even function, we can write this part as 10 times integral h prime x dx from 0 to 3 and this equals 10. So we cancel out 10, and this integral is simply equal to h3 minus h0, so we have h3 minus h0 equals 1. And here's one more thing about odd functions. Because hx is an odd function, it satisfies h minus x equals minus hx. 
So if we substitute x equals 0, we obtain h0 equals 0. In other words, the graph passes the origin. So since this is 0, we know that h3 equals 1. Therefore, the correct choice is 1. And that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.